In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to create a multi-level list for your long document. A multi-level list shows subsets of information. For example, if you're formatting a thesis, you may have chapters and subsections under each chapter. Here is an example of how a multi-level list may appear in a document. To define a multi-level list, first go to the Home tab, and in the Paragraph group, click the arrow next to the multi-level list icon. Click on Define New Multi-Level List. Select the More button on the bottom left of the dialog box to view all options. We'll begin with Level 1. Level 1 corresponds to built-in Heading 1. So in the Link Level to Style box, select Heading 1. In my example, Heading 1 refers to an unnumbered main title. So in the number style for this level box, I'm going to choose None from the drop-down menu. Next, I'll select a level 2 to modify. This level corresponds to built-in Heading 2. So in the Link Level to Style option, select Heading 2. Heading 2 represents the name of each chapter. So in the Enter Formatting for Number box, I'm going to delete the number already there and type in the word Chapter. Remember to leave one blank space after the word because the chapter number will be placed in the next available space. In the Number Style for this Level option, I'll select Regular Numbering. Note that a number will automatically be inserted after the word chapter. In this example, I'll demonstrate three levels, so you know how to include the chapter number and the subheading number as shown. Select level 3 to modify. This level corresponds to built-in heading 3. In the link level to style box, I'll choose heading 3. Next, I'm going to delete a number already in the Enter Formatting for Number box. In the Include Level Number From option, I'm going to choose Level 2 because Level 2 represents the chapter headings and I want the chapter number to appear first and the subheading numbers to appear afterwards. In the Enter Formatting for Number option, I'll place a full stop after the number word has inserted. I'm going to choose regular numbering in the number style option. And the number for level 3 will automatically be inserted after the chapter number. I'm going to go back to the formatting box and put a full stop after the last number. Now, depending on how many levels of headings you have in your document, you will have to repeat this process for each level. I'm going to select OK to complete this list. Have a look in the navigation pane to make sure your numbering is correct. If you need to make any changes, simply go back into the Define New Multi-Level List option and make the required amendments.